What's up, angels? It's Jolie, your YouTube bestie. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm on a lot of Dayquil and Nyquil. Today we're here for another sex talk video. Woohoo! How we love this topic, right? Today we're going to talk about what girls like in bed. I think this topic is so important because I don't think girls ever come enough. I can already hear the girl saying, Amen, sister. And it's so unfair. Watch this video to learn how to be a ladies' man or a ladies' lady. Here we go. Number one, foreplay. If you aren't foreplaying, we ain't playing. You may want to ask why is foreplay so important? Because you gotta make sure our bottom is wet. Okay, that might sound like I'm asking you to make us pee our pants, but no, not that hole. You know which hole I'm talking about. Do you know the consequences of not wetting a girl? We could bleed, we could hurt, we could walk like a penguin the next day. So don't you dare not foreplay us. Number two. We have so many types of orgasm, so if you're not even achieving one of them, what are you doing with your life? There's so many different types of orgasms a girl can do. But guys, you don't know, you just like to hit and run. So girls, make sure you come before him. Otherwise, just leave him blue ball. That's what I do. So here are the different type of orgasms you can achieve to leave a girl wanting more. Number one, the clit orgasm. Make sure to rub it gently and at the speed of three fingers per clitoris. How many clitoris can one have? I mean at the right speed, okay? Since if it's too rough, it's too sensitive. And if it's too soft, we can't feel it. And if you have a question, just ask. And if I say, ooh, right there, don't you go five seconds and give up on me. And if I say, don't stop, don't you fucking stop. And don't be lazy when you're going in. Okay? Put your fingers where it's supposed to be. You don't need to hold our legs. We can keep them up. Just keep rubbing. Number two, the G-spot. And you would think the longer the better. I've done many Asians where they hit better than most colors. One of them hit me so hard that I ended up in a hospital. True story. <laughs> Which I will share if this video hit 500 likes. So go ahead, share and like and comment below so I can share my traumatic story. My one tip for you is if you want to hit that spot, go ahead and let the girl go on top. That's the only time you get to be lazy because she knows her spot better than you. Number three, the blended one, which is the previous ones added together. This one is basically testing how multitasky you are. This is when you wish you were born with three hands and arms so the two can just hold the legs and the extra one can just do the hard work. Number four, the squirting orgasm, which I would like to call it the pew pew orgasm or the peeing orgasm. I still don't know how this one works because I've never done it myself. But feel free to go to Pornhub.com for tutorials. But, but not right now. I still got some wisdom to share. My wisdom is that girls can actually reach this orgasm faster if they have the urge to pee. I know, crazy, right? So just make her drink 10 gallons of water before you guys hit the bedroom. That would really help. But it does make it really confusing because you're like, are these squirts or pee? Yup, P. I think squirt is just a sexier term for it. In Asia, there's actually another term for squirting, which is involuntary urination. So please help us pee. Apparently girls love peeing unconsciously. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope it's helpful. And if you want to hear more sexy talk, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment below. What do you think girls like? And girls, what do you like? Let me know. Good luck in bed. Don't get pregnant unless you want to. Bye.